Add another totally wireless headphone to the growing list of totally wireless headphones. This is the Soul Republic Amps Air, and it looks similar to other totally wireless earphones out there, such as the Braggy Dash and Samsung Icon X, and cost $180. Like those models, you get two independent wireless buds that are then joined together wirelessly to create a stereo pair. Design-wise, what distinguishes the Amps Air is that it's wrapped in a silicone sleeve with tapered grooves that Soul Republic says grips the ear like treads on a tire for a comfortable yet secure fit. It also allows airflow to reduce sweat buildup during workouts. So yes, the Amps Air is being billed as a wireless sports headphone and they are sweat resistant. They fit my ears well and also manage to hold a steady connection both between my phone and the two buds themselves. There's a little bit of a lag in the Bluetooth transmission, so these aren't going to be good for watching video, but they're just fine with music and sound decent if you can maintain a tight seal. If you don't get a tight seal, you'll lose a lot of bass and the sound comes across as thin and recessed. I also thought they had some treble push that can give certain tracks a harsh edge. Like competing models, battery life isn't great at three hours, but you do get a portable charging case with a 2200 milliamp battery that recharges the buds more than 15 times, according to Soul Republic. The charging case also doubles as a portable charger for your phone. Each earpiece has a button on its exterior that allows you to pause and play your music, answer calls, and access Siri and Google Voice search. The buds automatically turn off when you put them in their charging case and turn on when you take them out. You can also just use one bud as a mono headset for your phone. I like the design of the Amps Air and I found that it worked reliably with minimal hiccups, which is an achievement for this type of headphone. I'm not sure it really distinguishes itself that much from the competition, but perhaps its price will come down with time, giving it an edge. I'm David Carney for CNET.com. Thanks for watching.